Hey guys, Sebastian here from GreenMusicProductions.com. Today's video is going to be a quick one and I've been requested to do a video on how to do the vocal effect in the song Lean On uh, from Major Lazer, DJ Snake featuring Mo. So they use a sample and it's super easy to do in Cubase 9 with the right sample because now we have the sampler track. So in previous versions of Cubase it was a bit harder to do since we had to use third-party plugins. So let me show you how to do it. First of all, uh, you need the right sample, um, but uh, if you want to use that in your productions, your songs, um, feel free to create and try different stuff since it's really easy to do now. So, well, the first thing I'm going to do is um, open the lower panel, go under sampler control, and I'll just drag and drop the sample I want to use, which is, I'm pretty sure it's the sample that they use in the actual song. It's from a Vengeance Pack, so I won't be able to post a link to that sample because you have to buy uh, the samples if you want to use it. Um, and I'm going to use the virtual keyboard uh, to play it live. You can use a MIDI controller if you want. Uh, the first thing is we're going to enable the record on the sampler track. If your transport is not up front, you can bring it uh, up front by pressing F2 and bring the virtual keyboard by pressing alt k on your keyboard so here it is so now i can use my controller uh, my computer keyboard to trigger the notes okay so as you can see the sound is already really close uh, i won't play the original song here for obvious reason i don't want to get my video shut down or anything but it's really easy to find find on youtube if you want to compare um, so yeah, let me just try to find the notes. Um, I think I was really close actually. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that sounds really good already, but um, I noticed that they uh, use a glide in the original song. So what a coincidence we have a glide here on the sampler track of cubase so let's try that out yeah so that sounds uh, already really close you can compare it i think they mixed it they use like doubler effect and stuff like that on the original one but i would be ready to press record and play it just like that so um it's super easy and you can do that with any samples uh, if you have any vocal samples or any instrument or whatever uh, that you want to use, you can get really creative with the sampler track. So let me play it to you once more. Yeah, that wasn't really tight since I was playing it live, but you get the idea. It was a matter of uh, dragging the sample in the sampler track. It got pitched automatically and using some glide just to make a cool transition between the note and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed that video. As usual, if you like those videos, click that like button and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. As usual, thank you guys for watching and see you next time.